exactly when is it going to stop? Another young woman murdered, someone's daughter, someone's sister, someone's mother. Let's come together and never forget her name. There is silence on the streets following the murder of Katija Kojo, but social media users are keeping her name alive. Videos like these are popping up on Facebook, TikTok, Twitter and Instagram since police identified the 21-year-old mother's body on Tuesday. A beekeeper found Kojo's decomposing remains at the heights of a repo a week ago, confirming her as another victim of violence. And some social media users are criticizing a perceived disparity in the reaction of civil society groups to Kojo's murder, as opposed to that for Andrea Barrett and Ashanti Riley's in 2021 and 2020. However, public relations officer of the candlelight movement, Candice Barrett Naus, says not only is it untrue, but unfortunate and distracting. Because it seems to be in this country a full-time job. Because if you have a woman being murdered sometimes on a daily basis, or at least by the statistics, at least one every two weeks, you will be lighting candles for an entire year for women. And I'm not saying that every single death is not absolutely important. I'm not saying that any life is, is more important than the other. But the fact is, lighting candles can really only go so far. Barrett Nahu says the movement is yet to get a response from the Attorney General's office to a petition it delivered in December, signed by over 120,000 people calling for greater protection of women. And while taking to the streets seems like the only option to get the government to listen, she says some people are fearful of the police's use of tear gas. Even if groups get permission from the police, the public health regulations has restrictions on gatherings. The same regulations, she says, the government legislated overnight in 2020. With 33 women murdered in 2021, the government's promise of pepper spray and a regulated PH tax industry remains unfulfilled. You cannot have every demented, sick, twisted pervert out there. And in this country, we have absolutely no absence of that out there taking women who are most vulnerable, taking children who are vulnerable to a back and forth. And the pH system is what facilitated Ashanti's murder. So what's next? Barrett now says everyone needs to become an activist and pressure the government regardless of who is in power. Kevin Feldman, CNC Tree News.